doing the sushi feast mukbang today because that was pretty much the most requested one. So I ordered, I'm gonna be honest, I thought it would have been more. It's a lot of food. I'll tell you everything I got in a second, but like, I feel like for the price, we should have more food. <laughs> I'll start with this thing. Swear wants more is what she said. Yeah, I, I do want more. I got a avocado roll and a yam roll because I love those. I got some assorted veggie tempura and I got from three different places, three different sushi places. Good. What's the season? <laughs> that is salmon oshi sushi. It's a special way of doing it and then they like torch the salmon on the top. It's, it's my favorite. It's Andre's favorite. So I got two of those rolls. I got a tub of edamame. This one here, this looks very fun. This roll is a yam avocado roll and then there's two cones. One's like a cod cone and the other is a crab cone. There is two pieces of salmon sashimi and then this is a negi toro roll. Not toro roll and they're not tuna roll. These? I think it's, I think it's these called These look sauce. I'm not having any of these. You trust me, they'll be good. You're gonna try a bit of everything. So I got an assortment of a ton of things. Oh, and then uh, we got- uh, And then uh, I got Craft Andre Cola. Craft Cola because you guys know he loves his drinks. I like how they she gave like a little She did this to my hairline and now I have to wait and meet these. Okay, okay, honestly, a, lot of, people, corrected it a lot of people though have been saying that your yeah, hair is no, good. Yeah, no, this part's fine, but you need to fix this part up. <laughs> That's a big fine. part of it's it. It's fine, Let me put some wasabi in it. I really enjoy wasabi. I don't know about you guys. I really like it. You mix a little bit in your, in your soy sauce, it just, it adds to it. What should I try first? I think I'm gonna try this roll first, which is the, Avocado yam one looks really good. It's kind of it's kind of big, but I'm uh, excited. Are you ready? Mmm, that's pretty tasty. I love these rolls. Which one did you try? These. Oh, neat. They're really good. It's like an avocado roll with like a little bit of sweet potato on top. Mmm. How have you guys been? I hope you. Enjoy this. I kind of want to try a little bit of everything. Like I want to, I want to take turns. I'm gonna alternate. Oh. I'm gonna try plain avocado roll now. Mm. Let me know too if you have tried sushi before. What is your favorite sushi food? And if you haven't had sushi before, also let me know. Fun fact: I didn't have sushi until I was 18 or 19. Mm -hmm. And I'm assuming a good amount of you probably have never tried sushi. Mm. I love avocado rolls. Mm hmm. No, I saw, um, I think it was the last mukbang video comments. I was reading through them and there were quite a lot of people saying that they've never had sushi before. Mm -hmm. So that's why I wanted to get like a variety today. I mean, I could have gone crazy and got like a ton of one thing, ton of rolls, but I wanted to get like a little bit of everything. This is ginger, by the way. They usually serve sushi with ginger this is broccoli. and wasabi. That is broccoli. This is like a mixed vegetable tempura. Um, is this sweet potato? What is this? Look at this one. It's like a radish. Oh, that's, is it a radish? This or is, is it potato. taro? No, that's a carrot, I think. Oh, sweet. I kind of want to try the carrot one too. I love tempura. Oh, you're right. Like, I wish you could just cook everything in tempura. I mean, I guess you could, right? I just want everything tempura. I want to try one of these um, tuna rolls. I'm gonna be honest, they do look a little interesting. Let me bring it closer to the camera so you guys can see. They look like, you see what's on top? Okay, I feel like it's not, is that focused? Maybe, a little bit. It's like squished tuna on top. Like it's like it's chopped. To me, it doesn't look very appetizing. It doesn't, but I feel like we need to try it anyway. I mean, yeah. That's why we got it. Um, so I'm gonna give it a try. I haven't ordered this before. This is new. I mean, I've had tuna, obviously, before, but like. What is it called again? Not like this. What? What's what called? Edamame? Mm. That's the name. I actually wasn't the biggest edamame fan, but I only really like it if it's really salty. Mm. It's pretty good. It, honestly, because I think there's some like, um, chives or like the little onion cut in with the tuna. It tastes like a roll with some tuna salad, like, on top. Really? <laughs> Try one. I only got two pieces of the salmon sashimi because it only came in pieces of two. Um, 
I gotta say. So I got two, one for me, one for Andre. Today's cola tastes so good. Really? I don't know what it is. Have you had that one before? Yeah. Oh. This one is really good, this roll that I'm eating. It has like a little habanero pepper on the top. Mm. And it has a nice like, it must be like mayo or some sauce on top of the Pretty salmon. Good. Nicely like seared. Mm. With a little bit of salmon in the middle. and you, you can tell it's an Oshi because of the box shape. Or the rectangular shape. I like how he acts like he's like a sushi expert. He's been eating sushi for like a couple of years. He's new to the trade, but he enjoys it. You like sushi a lot. I've seen some stuff. He has been wanting to order sushi for the past like week. It's just, I'm so good with chopsticks. And um, I think I've proven that here today. I'm excited for these cones. So I got, one of them I got, I had you in mind. Is it this one? Mm. This is the cod tempura and it's in like a little cone. So I thought we could share that. And then this one is like a crab, snow crab, same Interesting. thing. What's this one? Try It's um, avocado and yam. I love sweet potato, like yam tempura. Oh my gosh, it's my favorite. These are yam tempura rolls. They're pretty good. Right, they are good. Mm. I'm not the biggest fan of the sweet potato just in tempura. Really? Like, I'll eat it, but I'd prefer to eat like these rolls or even these. Hmm. What about like in the tempura roll? What, it's in the roll? What was this one? Mm. Potato or uh, sweet potato Sweet tempura? potato, like yam tempura roll. What's up with the, the soy sauce container? It's little. It's really cute though. Can you pour some on it? Like in the center? You can dip it in if you have such amazing I chopstick can, just skills. Like, like the sushi might break because it's such a small area. Look at that. Perfect. Look. I could throw it in there and spin it. In the okay. Air. No, you couldn't. That's a lie. He's lying. He's been using chopsticks for like two years. Acts like he's a professional. Uh oh. That's not true. Is it good? How many countries have you been to that primarily use chopsticks? Prime. Okay. We get it. You went to Korea. <sighs> Did you tell them the story of the fish? That was in a mukbang, right? That was the first time? Mm. I feel like that would be good for this one. So this right here is sashimi? Yeah. So this sashimi right here. So which one is that? Like what? This is salmon sashimi. Which is raw fish essentially. But yeah. the way they do it here in at least uh -oh. North America. I think in Japan as well primarily. The way they make sure that there's no like bacteria or or anything that can make you sick is they freeze it. Pause for a second. I just want to say Andre didn't know that. He thought sashimi was just straight up like you could like you know the raw no, fish no. you buy at the store. Wait. The raw fish you buy at the store, he thought that like that's just what sashimi was. So like you just go to the store and you just wouldn't no, cook no, the no, fish. No, because no. no, you gave Miku raw fish. I don't know. Cats aren't supposed to She was fine. Cats can eat raw diets, but fish, like <laughs> sashimi would be okay because they make sure there's no bacteria, but Raw fish, you have to be careful. You should cook it for cats. Um, but Andre thought it was like sashimi, sashimi, so he gave Miku just some straight up raw fish. And then we Googled it and it's like, raw fish can be very dangerous for cats. She was completely fine. She was fine. If anything, she looked more beautiful than I thought. Okay. Mm, okay, now you're just making things up. Back to my story. Yes, back they, to story. They freeze it to get rid of any bacteria and stuff. Yes. Um, but at least in where I was in Korea, there was a shop where the bottom part was like fish tanks mm -hmm. and all sorts of different fish and some really weird ones that I had never seen before. Weird to me because I haven't seen them before. Um, but the way it worked there with their sashimi was that uh, you kind of pick one and then they kill it right there and serve it right away. There's no bacteria because you're eating yeah. it right away, right? Soup, that's like next level fresh. Like yeah. you know when they say like fresh fish, like yeah, caught, you know, not frozen so it's like a couple days or whatever, that's like yeah. Fresh. Yeah, that's like super fresh. fresh. Yeah. It was super interesting. It was, um, yeah, it's definitely an experience. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I, if I'm honest, I was a little sketched out. It's like holes in it. I was a little sketched out because like, I'm like. Yeah. Well, you've never had that before. No, I never had it before. I would probably be that way towards lots of different things, but yeah. I think this is, I don't know. I feel like this might be taro. I don't know. Anyone? That knows it's a vegetable of some sort. I want to say it's taro, 
because I've had taro chips before and I believe they're in the shape, but I'm not 100% sure. It's good though. You having a good time? It's not as good as it usually is. Really? Yeah. I told you. Okay, so this place that we got, so like I said, I ordered from three places. These two I ordered from one place. This giant platter I ordered from another place. These two rolls I ordered from a third place. So these two rolls are the special type, like the salmon oshi that Andre was mentioning. And there's this sushi place in Vancouver called Miku Sushi. That's where I got this from. It's like arguably the top sushi place in Vancouver. It's exceptionally good. However, their delivery, so they're usually never on the delivery app. We used to go there in person and pick up. It is a pricey sushi place. Like it's a fancier kind of one. So they don't do a lot of rolls. I think they only have a couple rolls, which is why I got rolls at different places that were cheaper and did more like roll variety. This place is kind of known for like these rolls and then there's sashimi and like kind of more fancier dishes. Um, but these ones specifically, Andre loves, I don't think they're take I don't think they're killing the takeo game. No, it, it, it tastes different than... Yeah. Person. Well, and I ordered from there a couple weeks ago with my mom, and I was like... Like, it tasted not even, like, not as good as in person, but, like, <laughs> way worse. Like, I ordered some tuna tataki and, like, a couple rolls, and, like, usually, like, their fish and stuff is, like, just really good, and this was, like significantly worse like I'd even say below you know just your average sushi place so I don't know if they have like a new chef there now or like they're using a different I don't know that place though like regularly is very good so if you're ever in Vancouver I would definitely suggest going there if you like sushi but maybe don't order takeout from there I wonder if it's... maybe it's not even them doing takeout like yeah. maybe it's a different well, I don't know the, this place is really good this is like a cheap kind of Smaller, like tiny little place. Their rolls are great. I wonder if they either hired someone different because mm -hmm. of all this, or if they haven't increased. <coughs> sorry, in the amount of people ordering, mm. so they have to rush it. It could be. Well, because it's usually a pretty busy place. So I wonder if they're having more people now that people can order online and they don't just have to go in person. Yeah. These two places, I'd say I'd order from more again than mm. than that place this place is really good i'm gonna retire that place for now right like I, on the or like the, the delivery but i found that that's the case sometimes you know like places they're really good in person but on delivery apps sometimes they can wonder why yeah i don't know i wonder if they have someone different like preparing it or i don't know some places are good both ways that place is great the thing with this place though is they only do Brown rice sushi rolls. Oh. What? So I ordered from them when you were at your mom's. Mm hmm I was like, did I choose, choose the wrong option? <laughs> no. They don't do white rice, they only do brown rice. I like white rice rolls better. Um, but it's still good. They're still really good. What is this wrapped in pink? Okay, well you need to try that one. That's the fish. But what is one. the pink one? <laughs> I feel like Andre's tired because we went for a little walk before this. <laughs> Like, look, I had to mentally prepare to be eaten by a bear. Okay, we literally walked in the woods for like 20 minutes. 45 minutes. No, oh. it was not. It was Total, like half an hour. Half back. an hour max. Total, there was back 45 minutes. I timed it. It was half an hour. No, I, we looked at the time. It was 45 minutes. Anyways, the entire time we were walking through, he was convinced we were going to see a bear. And he was like asking me what to do if we see a bear. No, 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 no. What do we like? I oh, know he, what I he picked up, a, he went and he found a stick big enough Listen, that he felt like he could defend guys, himself from the bear. There were I'm, other people on this trail. Very rarely. It was Listen, just a little, like, little walk. There was and, like, a sign. It wasn't said, in a mountain. It was, there like, was just, a sign that said, be bear aware. Okay? Yeah. No, so you I'm should always bears be bear aware. aware. But, yeah. Okay. So then there's okay. bears in the area. Ever since the incident where I jumped out of the car. <laughs> oh, my God. To try to find help for Samara and her family. <laughs> Uh, Samara has Try made me feel help. I have to sacrifice myself in any situation. Yeah, you so, do. And you know what? I would prefer that because I don't want to hear. Swear, it. I don't want to hear it. If, if like I'd rather get eaten by the if bear. If there's one more situation where he he just throws me under the bus, 
I never threw her on the bus. You will never hear the story? end of it. Listen. Ever. Listen. So if there's a bear, you better run at the bear. That's what I'm doing. Just hug it. Just Even if it's trying it. to run away, I'm going to run after it. You're like, Andre, it's running away. I'm just going to go for it. Because I don't want to hear it. Like, just bite me once. <laughs> anyway, I was like, so what do we do? I'm like, okay, oh so if a bear comes up, I'm going to tell you to run. And then I'm gonna have to one view on the bear. <laughs> and look, I'm probably gonna lose. Like 99% I'm gonna lose. But at least, uh, anyway, that, that took a lot of mental energy to uh, oh play all those scenarios out. <laughs> He's not used to going outside. That's dedication. Look, it was a lot. It was actually, a lot. There's a lot of dangerous Oh, though. you only go outside once a month. I checked my app. <laughs> I have gone. Nearly 10,000 steps about half of each month. Like, oh. In the last 30 days. Wait, what? In the like, last, not per day. In the last 30 days, 15 of those days, I've went over 10K. No. Okay, does the app lie? Yeah, probably. Why does the app lie? Probably tie the app to Miku, let her run around. Please. Yeah, maybe I did once or twice. <laughs> but, no. I want to try this thing. Because, uh... Okay. But it's funny, because <gasps> the days I don't go on the, on the walk, it's so very clear. Cause it's like 600 steps on those days. And then for the walk days, it's like 10,000, 15,000. Yeah, it is very clear. I don't know how the heck I'm gonna eat that thing. I don't know. It's like a commitment. This guy's pretty good. Like I just picked it, it was, it's, it's falling apart. I don't know how I'm gonna eat that thing. It's coming apart. Did you try one of these? No. Can you please try one? No, try one. I think you'll like them. See, for me, the thing about sushi. I'm gonna have another one is my fullness depends on my pace. Yeah, so you gotta keep going. If, if you're not quick if about it, you stop, it, you yeah, the back. rice like fills you up. It like expands in your stomach. I took a two minute break there and it's screwing mm -mm, me over. Mm -mm. But you gotta be all about speed and momentum. You just gotta be quick about it. I'm it's so full, I don't, I'm so Are full. you kidding me? Yeah, No. Uh, I'll eat one, I'll eat no. one. No, <laughs> no. We're gonna fire you from our mukbangs if you're, if you're this full this fast. I am underpaid, overworked. <laughs> <laughs> also, let me know what mukbang you guys want to see next. I have a list. Italian food, pizza, breakfast. My camera stops reporting at 24 minutes every time. Um, you could probably change Yeah, I know. I can change it, but I don't. Well, um, you don't know if you can change it. You could probably it. Honestly, I might not be able to. I'm going to stick with that. I don't think you can. I'm going to be honest. I forgot you are going to mukbang this, so I thought we were going to watch the Michael Jordan documentary while we were doing it. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. I, I feel like you're turning into a little diva. What? You're like, I'm too full for these muffins now. I want to watch a documentary. <laughs> this is, this is, uh, I no, you're, like, yeah, you're I too, like too was, far. You, you were, he was, you he told he, me to go to the side, lady. Well, now you're too far to the side. You gotta get more. Okay, what are you doing? Get up, get up. We need a man who could eat. Does anyone want to take his spot for these? Ah. <sighs> Gonna Hold send on. out an application. Yeah, chill, all right. I, I, if I recall the other, I'm gonna episodes, go get that competitive eater. What's his name? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. For the other episodes, I did a lot of the heavy lifting, and for this episode, if somebody goes and counts, I've eaten significantly more sushi than Samara. Significantly. Count. I don't think significantly. Count. I don't think so. Count. I want to know if one of you is dedicated. I've eaten this entire box. I want to know if one of you is dedicated. Have you more of this? At this point in time, how many sushis have I eaten? How many sushis have Samaria eaten? I'm very curious. These green beans don't count. Green, they're edamame. Whatever. Edamame is green beans, isn't it? Soybeans. Green beans oh. are like the. What? Yeah. You know, come There's on. Soybeans the whole time? <laughs> right, I'm going to eat this weird looking thing. <laughs> It's good. It honestly tastes like a tuna salad on top of an avocado roll. <laughs> like, it's, it's different. It tastes like a tuna salad. That's what I'm roll. saying! Because, okay, I don't know if you guys can see. I'm going to just straight up climb up there. Hold up. Do you see on the top? There's, like, chopped up herbs and stuff. And I think there's some, like, chives or green onion or whatever in there. So, it's similar ingredients that go into a tuna salad. And it honestly tastes. Like a tuna salad. Did you eat another one? Oh. 
I was gonna get excited. These are good. I'm gonna have some more this year. Is this one up. place? Yes. This place is good. I know. No, it is. It's really good. This was another like um, more expensive, fancier place. Oh. This place was called Coast, and then this one is. Shizenya. Shizenya, I think. I saw some people asking for the names of the places, so I'm gonna start start saying them. That crow Where did you guys from the last place? If you guys watched the Vietnamese one, the last one was called Modern House Vietnamese. Modern House Vietnamese. Something like that. Yeah. So if any of you are in Vancouver, I will start saying the names um, in case you'd like to try them. Ain't nobody in Vancouver. I know. There's there's probably no, there's I think there's some. Like three. There are some. Shout I see to people. three of you who live near Vancouver. So if you're curious, the Miku ones, I would not suggest delivering. In person, yes. In person? It is person. Well, because it is an expensive place. Like, it's not your average sushi place. It's expensive. So, I mean, I don't want... I don't think you should pay for it to be average. You know, like, you don't want to pay that price to just get an average roll. And their takeout menu right now is extremely average. Like everything I've oh, tried, cool. <laughs> are you good? And I thought maybe that was just one time, but I'm glad you said that. Mm -hmm. Cause it was like, like not even like good, like not even like, like it was like, it was okay. Like I wouldn't even want to get that, like just at a regular, like mm -hmm. even if I wasn't paying those prices, even if it was like half the price, I'd still be disappointed, you know? So that place, it's good in person, ordering, no. These two, they're great. Very nice. I'm stuffed. No. I'm stuffed. No. I can't eat anymore. I actually can. This will be a nice midnight snack. Wait, try this one. That was the cone that I got specifically for you. I'll try some too. It's a cod tempura cone. And there's like tartar sauce. I don't know. It sounded very interesting. I'll try some. I, I don't know if I have it in me. If yeah, I, you do. You uh -huh. might have to try this one out. No, 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 uh, uh, mm, 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 mm. I'm full, full. I don't care. I'm big, full. I don't care. This You're trying nice. this. You're trying this. Here. You want me to have the first You try it first, sure. Oh, gosh. I do not know. I feel like these are meant to be eaten with hands, but I don't have hands right now. <laughs> I like your little quick cheese shake. How is it? Interesting. It tastes like fish and chip in a roll. So it shouldn't have it. No, no, no. You should try it. It's good. <clears throat> I, was not I like it better than the crab you. one. The crab one, I'm, I'm not a Put fan of. Put yeah. it down. Okay. Did you get some of the fish? Are they on both sides? I think you might have just had a bite of rice. Did you? I think you just had a bite of rice. <laughs> Come on. See, look at that. He could still eat. You like it? Not a fan. Really? Really not a fan. <laughs> no? I'm really not fat. I'm not gonna eat it. I don't know. No! I don't know. What? Guys, this bug man is going downhill. I'm sorry. I thought all this stuff would be. I mean, most of it is really good. Why'd you warn me? I thought it was good. It's so weird. It's like fish and chips in a little like. No, oh. it's not. Oh, that was weird. I like coffee. Andre wasn't a fan. Not a fan. I'm done. I have to eat something else though. I can't leave that. Can't win them all, I guess. Have another one of the tuna salad. No, I'm done. <laughs> I like how I was calling them tuna salad rolls. <laughs> I'm done now. I'm just gonna drink my. my oh purple. boy. Well, I'm gonna have one more of these because these are very tasty. Yeah, this place, I wish they did white rice. I wonder, they probably, maybe in person do, if you ask. That really fell apart. Why did they do only brown rice? I think they try and be like a healthier. Mm -hmm. But I mean like white rice, brown rice. <laughs> I don't think it's that big of a difference. I don't know. I'm gonna have to get a white it's rice. It's like a little more fiber brown in brown rice. rice but I just prefer rolls. I feel like sushi rice, the white sushi rice holds it together better. Brown rice really like crumbles apart, falls apart easily. <sighs> Well, I can't tired. believe you quit before me. That's so disappointing. I did. I'm really disappointed. I, I thought you were better than that. Maybe this and the rice mixed together. I don't know. I might not invite you to my Italian mukbang or my pizza mukbang. Oh, well, if you want specialists, that's <laughs> who you should get for those. You're not Italian. 
Oh no, but I love the food. <laughs> Let me know what you guys would want to see next. Spirit's trying to fatten me up. I'm fattening myself up too. <laughs> like this isn't a one person thing. I'm eating this stuff as well. Should I try a broccoli tempura? I feel like broccoli tempura might be a bit, uh, might be a bit much. A bit much, like, I don't know. I'm gonna try it though, you know. You gotta try everything once. I'm tapping out. Or twice. Are you gonna keep eating here? You take center stage. Where are you going? I need to lie down. Well, get the heck back here right now. He just laid down on the couch. <laughs> Broccoli tempura, um. <laughs> it tastes how you think it would taste. Not good. It's fine. I feel like it's a little bit of an upgrade to the broccoli because, uh, to be fair, I actually like broccoli. You know what, I'm just gonna eat the whole thing. It's not coming off my, my chopstick, this is a sign. Oh, it came off my chopstick, well. I'm still gonna eat it. This is what I pay for, the crunch. Into a better mic. I just used the mic on my camera. Oh, oh, you could definitely get a better mic for this one. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I don't know, if you guys like these enough, maybe I'll like <laughs> up the production so value. You not anything else but the muck bags. Oh, yeah. Cause like, I love this. <laughs> I won't upgrade my gaming setup, but like muck bags, I mean, if you guys want to see them, I will bring the heat. <laughs> we'll get some studio lights. Screw it, I'll get a new table. What the heck is going on? I'll transform my office into a mukbang room. Wow. Let me know. Do you guys like these? It, hmm? One mukbang, mukbang a day. Do you guys like these? Okay. One a day, <clears throat> we can't do. I would gain a lot of weight, probably. Can we do like a Subway sandwich mukbang? <laughs> I mean... Or we both eat one Subway. <laughs> I don't think anyone wants to see that. I don't know. Let me, like, if you guys want to see any kind of mukbangs, like, I don't know what the rule is here. I don't know if there's... There's no rules. Is there? I don't think so. I'm not 100% sure. I'm new to this. This is my third mukbang. Can't believe I'm to quit before me. Fake friends, am I right? I could keep eating. What? Yeah, but kind of want to save a couple of these for, like, later. Because it's still early. It's, like, 7... What time is it? <laughs> 7.30. So, I mean... I, we actually usually tend to have dinner around like 10, which is really bad. We should eat earlier. Um, so I might save the rest for dinner number two in a few hours. Yeah, so I'm the winner of this mukbang. He what, lost. there's winners and losers of the mukbang? Yep, there is now. As winner, I get to choose what we eat for the next mukbang. You've chosen it <laughs> for every mukbang. That's gonna be it for this. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of these and um, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye!